So Hurricane Dorian killed my fence, and that's just fine because I hated that fence. I couldn't get a car through it. It was always sagging over there at the hinges, and I'd have to relocate him. So good riddance. Uh, first step was to dismantle everything, take my sprinkler box down, take any random hardware and screws off the fence, and then let's get to work demolishing it. I first decided to beat the hell out of it with a hammer, thinking that would be easy. It was um, Swiss cheese from all the carpenter bees being in there, but it was super tiring and it made a huge mess. So it was fun for a minute and then it got old. Now what really got old was trying to dig these posts out of the ground. I got two sprinkler lines and I found an electrical cable under there too that I nicked with my shovel. These suckers had about three foot of concrete holding them in the ground. And they were a beast to get up out of the ground. Um, so we did that one. And you want to get about three inches of gravel down in that hole. So you want to dig three inches lower than you really want to be. And put three inches of gravel in there and help the drainage. These are cedar posts, so I don't think that rot's going to be that big of a deal. A couple of them needed a little bit of help on the trimming front. They're all pretty rough cut, so every once in a while I'd have to get the chainsaw out and clean them up. One down. This stuff is called a wrap it. Apparently it comes from the military. Um, you unroll it, and once it sees air, it starts to fuse together. You can create watertight bonds. Um, little bond electricity type stuff emergency plumbing repairs so my game plan is to wrap this piece of electrical tape that I nicked so I cleaned this cable off shocking myself in the process by wiping it with a wet rag and then wrapped it with this tape <laughs> For this other section of fence, I was not going to beat it with a hammer. I took the chainsaw to it and cut it in manageable chunks. And that was a whole lot easier. I wish I'd have done that with the other side. This post didn't come out too bad. I still have to take a ratchet strap and put it around there and drag it out of the hole. The up, one up against the garage was not going to be quite so easy. The post had snapped off, so what I had to do was put a ratchet strap around it and basically deadlift it out with that pry bar. It was a beast, and I was glad to get that thing out of there. After that, setting up the fence was fairly straightforward. My boys over there helped me out by filling in the old hole. They love getting to help the old man, and that was actually useful. I could work while they were doing that. Here I am rolling out the chicken wire, trimming off that roll. And then I nailed it up with U-nails, galvanized U-nails, nothing special. Notice my red ratchet strap right there. This poor man's come along. I needed those two tops of the post to get pulled tighter in together while I put this wire up. So that worked out nice. Next day was gate day. I wanted to leave myself plenty of time to noodle with this since I was going to be experimenting a little bit. I bought this Adjust-A-Gate kit that mounts up pretty easily and then it can expand to different openings. So getting these things mounted up wasn't too much trouble. The trick was going to be in getting these distances just right, getting everything to level out. So here's some action shots of me cutting stuff. Truck tailgates make great work benches. Just need a clamp and a power cord. Door hardware all went in pretty quickly. I biffed a few things here and there and had to backtrack and undo it, but no real surprises. These cables and turnbuckles are what keep everything level and squared up and you can adjust them over time, so that's what appealed to me. And then I just needed to do one last thing, which was do some custom trimming of some of these rails for the split rail fence to try and get them to work in there and then use some sheet metal screws to mount it up. Once that was on it was just a matter of throwing some chicken wire on there and I was basically done. If only construction projects would go this quickly in real life I would have way more free time. 
Okay. We are done for the most part. Got a little more gap here than I wanted, but I was running into the foundation down there, so that's as far as I could put the post. If the dog gets out, I'll have to put a piece of wood in there or something. Adjust the gate, worked out pretty well. I used whatever random 2x4s I had. This one was been sitting in the back of my truck for a couple years, so it kind of gives it a nice little patina. It's soft as a marshmallow, so I'll probably have to replace it soon. This was an experiment that went somewhat okay. Take some of the split rail, trim it up, and put it in there so that we get kind of a continuance of at least that middle rail. I didn't feel like doing a bottom rail and I was gonna run into the turnbuckle thingy if I did that, so I think I'll just leave it at the middle one. Overall, not too bad. Took a good couple days. A little longer than I'd have hoped, but not the kind of thing I do very often, so I knew I was going to have to take my time. And I took big long lunch breaks. So, 2019 gate success. <laughs>